the role of communities in conserving water the article is taken from the newspaper the hindu which is talking about the importance of community participation in water conservation so why we are discussing this article today we know that the march 22nd is observed as world water day and uh, yesterday we discussed an another article about the glacier and the united nation general assembly proclaimed this year as the international year of glacier and glacier preservation and uh, from this year onwards every march 21st will be observed as world glacier day so remember march 21st is world glacier day march 22nd is world water day so remember this and this year for the world water day the ministry of jal shakti launched the jal shakti abhiyan catch the rain campaign 2025 which is giving importance to the community participation in water conservation and this article is talking about the certain issues that we need to consider while framing a water conservation or water management policy so let us discuss more about this article from the mains point of view so the topic for the discussion is water conservation and this can be expected in the mains gs paper 3 and coming to the water conservation in india to understand about the water conservation in india we have to understand about the development of national water policy since 1987 so the national water policy was introduced in 1987 and that gave focus on uh, you know improving the drinking water irrigation hydropower navigation and industry and in 2002 the principles of this national water policy was further enhanced and introduced the role of community participation in water planning and water conservation and in 2012 the principles of this national water policy was further enhanced and uh, acknowledged this water as an economic good and also gave you know provisions for integrated management of the water and pricing strategies so coming to the current water scenario in india we know that india is holding around 80 to 20 we know that india is holding around 18 to 20 percentage of the world population but it has only 4% of the global fresh water so here you can see that the uh, estimation of the niti aayog is saying that by 2030 the water demand will exceed two times than the water supply which can widen the problem of water scarcity and this will affect a large portion of population in india and that can even reduce the 6% of the india's gdp and another study was conducted by the yale university in 2022 and uh, the university ranked India 141 out of 180 nations for unsafe drinking water and the university also found that 70% of the fresh water in India is polluted and that is directly or indirectly causing you know 2 lakh death annually and according to the world bank estimation in another 2 decades if the groundwater depletion is you know going in this phase in another 2 decades nearly 60% of the districts in india will face severe groundwater scarcity and this is a estimation given by the world bank so now we are going to see some of the measures taken by the government of india for the water conservation so first is the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act which guarantees 100 days jobs to the rurally unemployed unemployed people and the employment includes conservation of the local dams canals and other irrigation system regeneration and restructuring of this water conservation structures in the rural area so this is also contributing to the water conservation in the rural area and the next is jal shakti abhiyan catch the rain 2025 which is talking about the importance of community participation rainwater harvesting and also repairing and restructuring of the water conservation infrastructure and the next is we have the adal mission for regeneration and urban transformation 2.0 which is talking about the which is giving importance to the uh, urban water management and the next we have the adal bahujal yojana and this is uh, this scheme is uh, you know uh, focusing on groundwater management in nearly 8000 plus water stressed villages in india and the next we have the pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana which is focusing on enhancing the water efficiency in agriculture through reducing the water wastage through emphasizing the importance of micro irrigation technologies like sprinkler irrigation and drip, drip irrigation and next we have the bureau of water uh, water use efficiency this bureau is focusing on enhancing water use efficiency in all aspects of the human activities and the next we have the mission amrit sarovar uh, this scheme is focusing on regeneration of 75 water reserves 75 water reservoirs per districts so what are the key issues in india's water conservation policy the first is the under utilization of the indigenous knowledge we are talking about the role of community participation in water conservation but at the same time the community's knowledge is still under utilized for example the 2002 amendment of the national water policy included the community participation but at the same time when it comes to the decision making it lies with the authorities 
for example if you take the water user association this is a statutory body established in various states since 1990s and this includes the farmer farming community and other communities who are directly depending on the water but when it comes to the decision making the the members of this body don't have any authority that lies with the state authorities so that's why you can see that even if they are present in the water conservation they don't have any role in decision making which is ultimately resulting in under utilization of the the indigenous knowledge which here you can see the lack of true community participation and the next is mitigating the vulnerability of the weaker section for example if you take the climate change itself if you take the uh, the uh, the climate change is you know disproportionately affecting the society for example if you take the rising sea level first it will affect the coastal community then it will affect the farming community and then only it will affect the the people living in high latitude or higher you know higher uh, altitude regions so the impact of the climate change or any climate events will affect the society disproportionately and the first victims will be the weaker sections or the marginalized sections in the society and uh, that means they will be affected both socially and economically therefore when we are framing a policy we need to protect the interest of the weaker sections in the society as well and that includes landless farmers tribal groups women because they are facing the biggest problem of the climate change and uh, and the next is addressing the fragmentation in the water management this is another major issue in our water conservation policy for example if you take the uh, the uh, factors of the nature for example the forest water land and biodiversity none of the policies are you know uh, considering the interdependence of these factors for example if you take the deforestation the deforestation will make the region vulnerable it will result in land degradation and the land degradation means there will be you no know, water capturing is happening that means the water will run off and that will eventually make the region more vulnerable to water scarcity which will ultimately affect the biodiversity so but you can see none of the uh, schemes are actually addressing the uh, the the interdependence of these factors so we have to uh, frame a holistic uh, you know a policy which uh, which accepts the interdependence of these factors and that is needed for the sustainable conservation of the nature as well as the water resource and uh, for example you can, you can see that the communities in the western part of india especially in rajasthan they have orangs which means sacred forest and the sacred forest traps the surface runoff of the water and it improves the groundwater recharge and encouraging the water harvesting so these type of ideas can be taken from the indigenous communities and we can apply and uh, in the water conservation strategies and we can make it more effective with the modern technology so we have to frame this type of approach to enhance the water conservation and management in india rather than going for you know uh, you know a disjoint or you know fragmented policy for different uh, for, for conserving different factors of the nature and the next is recognition of rights of the nature for example whenever we go for framing a policy for conservation of nature most of the policies will be human centric that will address the problems faced by the humans but we have to address the problems faced by the animals we have to address the problem faced by other factors in the nature for example forest and uh, now we can see in the global level there is a shift towards recognizing the intrinsic value of the nature and in india we need a standalone framework for this but you can see occasionally the indian courts have upheld the nature's rights but water policies still prioritize human use over the ecosystem balance for example recently in 2023 the great indian bustard case and in the great indian bustard case the supreme court uh, you know directed the rajasthan government to remove all the barriers that uh, affects the ecosystem or the life of the great indian bustards so in this way and here the supreme court highlighted the importance of article 21 of the indian constitution that means you can see the the scope of the article 21 of the indian constitution is expanding far beyond the human that is applicable to the uh, you know the nature the living beings in the nature as well so these type of efforts are taken in the indian courts but we need a standalone uh, framework or act or policy to address the need of the or the rights of the nature and the next is climate change and water crisis so like i already mentioned before uh, india has only 4% of the global fresh water and it is holding around 18% of the global population on other side and in the coming days for uh, for both the uh, economical activities and for non economical activities the water demand will increase and uh, according to the niti aayog we can see that there will be two, twice uh, you know uh, demand for water than the water supply so this 
raises concern about the widening water scarcity in the society and uh, a nature study that is a study published in the magazine J nature wants that the rising global temperature will worsen india's water deficit and therefore the policies whatever we are framing uh, from here onwards must must address the climate resilient water system uh, that should strengthen the water conservation practices with the uh, combined knowledge of both indigenous people as well as from with the modern technologies and the next is it should incorporate uh, climate adaptation into water management so let us see some of the way forwards first is empowering the communities in the law in the decision making so like i mentioned the local communities are present in conservation activities but when it comes to the decision making they don't have a real power which is here it is lacking the true community participation so here we have to address that and the next is integrating the traditional knowledge and the modern water management technology can uh, effectively um, you know helps in water conservation and management and the next is holistic approach is needed that is linking water conservation with the forest and other climate policies and other factors of the climate like i mentioned in instead of going for separate management of forest land biodiversity and the soil you can uh, we can frame a holistic uh, framework to protect everything and that uh, that acknowledges or that accepts the uh, interdependence of all these factors and the next is community centric and ecosystem based conservation strategies that means we have to go beyond the human centric approach so in this topic we discussed uh, water conservation what are the challenges some of the measures taken by the government of india to conserve the water and uh, next we discussed uh, what is the water scenario of india and based on our discussion try to answer this mains practice question the question is critically analyze india's water conservation policies in addressing groundwater depletion and pollution discuss with a case study such as the success or failure of mission amrit sarovar and atal bahujal yojana and suggest a sustainable water management strategy and this is a 10 marks question and you have to write around 150 words write the answer post it in the comment section we will review and we will reply for your answer